In this tutorial we will install the Universal Driver 4.0 for Windows. The installation process takes place in two segments, one for client-side installation and the other for server-side. We will start by doing the client-side installation first. On your CD you will have a folder for the client-side install. Open up that folder and double-click on the setup.exe file to start the, start the installation process. We will now follow the on-screen instructions. And the first one is important to and make sure that you um, back up your Revelation database files before proceeding. Once you have done that, go ahead and click the S button to proceed. Click through the next splash screen. We are then presented with the software license agreement. If you agree with the agreement, click Yes and we will now browse for the location of our Open Insight directory. On my particular system, Open Insight is located in C RevSoft Open Insight 7.1. Double clicking here on my RevSoft folder and then double clicking on my Open Insight folder. I click OK and then click click Next to proceed. I am presented with a valid serial number and the destination directory and I can now click next to proceed again and the installation process is now taking place. We are now presented with the login to the sysprog application. If you have a password we need to enter that particular password and then click the continue button. Once the client side install is completed, we need to click the finish button to complete the installation process. To verify that the new internal network driver has been installed, we need to open up our Open Insight directory. And here I'll double click on my RevSoft folder, go to Open Insight, and we need to scroll down to the netdrive.exe. Let's get down there. Double click on netdrive.exe. Let's just move this over just a bit. And if I scroll down, we can now see that the Universal Driver 4.0 has been installed. My previous driver was the 3.0. I will double click on the Universal Driver 4.0, highlight it, click the OK button, and say yes to make sure that I now have the right client-side driver installed. At this point, the client-side installation is complete. We are now ready to install the service side of the Universal Driver 4.0. Again on the CD that shipped with the driver, open up the server folder and in there you will find a setup.exe file. Double click on that executable to start the installation process. We will now step through this next series of splash screens. Again, we were presented with the software license agreement. If we agree with it, click yes. We are now prompted to enter the location of where we would like the Universal Driver 4.0 software to be installed on the server. And in this case, I'm going to take the default and put it in my RevSoft directory in a folder called Universal Driver and click next. That folder does not exist, so I will have the install process created for me. And now I will proceed, and at this point I will enter my installation serial number. After entering yes to my serial number information, um, I am next prompted to ask what kind of communications would I like the universal driver to utilize and we recommend TCP IP so in this case I will type yes to continue and the default port is 777 uh, in this case I'm actually going to use 8777 and click next 
and the IP address of the server. And in this case, I'll just do 127.0.0.1 and click Next to continue. We are now asked to, for the location of our existing Open Insight. Again, I will browse for that folder. And in this case, it's Open Insight 7.1. And I will click OK and then click Next. Click Next again. And our install process is continuing. At the completion of the install process, we're asked to select the program group. And here I will pick Universal Driver. Actually, I'll type this in and I'll say Universal Driver 4.0 and click Next to continue. And the setup process will complete. The setup completion screen will appear and I will leave the checkbox on to automatically start the service. I won't read the README file and I'll click finish and the service, the linear hash service will automatically start. If we open up our services tab we can scroll down and you'll now see that the linear hash service has been installed and started as you can see, we have now created a universal driver folder in our RevSoft directory. And if we go into our Open Insight directory, we will be able to view the RevParam that was created automatically. So what I will do, let's just move this over just a bit. And if we scroll down, we'll look for the RevParam. And if I right click on this full file and we'll open it in Notepad, and we can see that the RevParam file has been created automatically. Server only equals one, the IP address of the server where the UD 4.0 resides, and the port, the IP port that we're communicating across. New to the Universal Driver 4.0 is a console application that helps you manage record locking. So if we go to Start Programs, Universal Driver 4.0, we can go to the Universal Driver Manager. And we need to select which user account has access to run this pr program. Here I'm just going to take the default click OK and the Universal Driver Manager will automatically launch. The LH Server Manager has two tabs showing what systems are connected to the UD running on the network and another tab for locks and when we display locks we can um, select a particular user lock and release the lock. Finally, the, just to show that the install process automatically creates the registry entries for the Universal Driver 4.0. So if you go into RegEdit, look at the HK Local Machine, Software, um, RevSoft, Revelation Universal Driver, and look at the 4.0 tab, you can see the registry settings. I hope this was informative, and thank you very much.